Hello, this is Jane Goodall. I'm sending this message to everyone who's attending the WHO European Region's 7th Ministerial Conference. Thank you for your efforts to ensure that nature and biodiversity in your region are preserved and protected. Because we depend for food, water, clothing, physical and mental health and so on, on healthy ecosystems. And these are being compromised by our actions, by our disrespect of nature. Our warming planet is causing changes in weather patterns everywhere. There are more and worse hurricanes, floods, droughts, heat waves and wildfires. Time in nature has now been proved to reduce stress and anxiety, boost our immune system, and improve our mental well-being. It's so important to understand the interconnection between human, animal, and environmental health, such as the One Health and Planetary Health approaches. The destruction of natural habitats is forcing people into ever closer contact with wild animals. Capturing wild animals around the world and selling them for food, medicine, clothing and pets can lead to spillover of a pathogen from a stressed animal to a human, which, if it then bonds with a human cell, may create a new disease. A scary example is the COVID-19 pandemic, which isn't really over yet. If we continue down this path, the consequences may, in the end, be fatal. We mustn't let that happen. We must all do our best to protect nature and reduce our carbon footprint. Collaboration is key. We must work together across different sectors and disciplines and ensure that stakeholder voices from all sectors are consulted and listened to, especially from Indigenous communities, in order to bring about real change. And we must spread the message that every individual has a role to play and makes an impact on the planet every day, and we can choose what sort of impact we make. So let's work together for a change in mindset and stop working for short-term gain at the expense of saving the environment for future generations, for our children and theirs. Thank you.